why doesn't Canada's busiest airport have a terminal too? On top of that, I've got some great tips in terms of how to make your journey through Canada's busiest airport as simple as possible. And that includes how to reserve your line in security before you even get to the airport for free. I'm an absolute aviation geek and I love YYZ. You can tell through my airplane chair that I use as an office chair. I'm gonna tell you about those tips, including the history of Pearson International Airport right now. Stay tuned. I'm Kabir, a cruise director, travel blogger, and a TV host, and I love Toronto Pearson International Airport. It's where all of my trips started and ended as a kid. In fact, I still remember seeing Terminal 1 when it was still being built. It'll always be new in my eyes. Terminal 3 is relatively new too, going up in the early 90s and touted as revolutionary at the time of its construction. YYZ began as Malton Airport and was renamed in 1984 to Lester B. Pearson International Airport after the Canadian Prime Minister. At that time, the airport looked vastly different, including the much smaller Aero Key 1, which featured a parking garage as well as an observation deck. The plan was to have multiple of these smaller circular Aero Keys, but their limitations were noticed, given that they couldn't be expanded easily and that traffic was also increasing rapidly. But what was cool was how seamless it looked. There was a tunnel that ran under the airport so aircraft could taxi freely. The plan shifted to building a more linear terminal between runways 33 left and 33 right. Think of the modern day LAX. Eventually though, that idea was scrapped, but the design still lingers and it's now an access road with cargo facilities and customs buildings. In fact, you can access it to this very day. It's actually where the infield terminal sits, opening in 2002. I remember flying out of here on Air Canada aboard an A340 to New Delhi back in the early 2000s. In the late 90s, on the heels of when Terminal 3 was in full operation, plans were being made to knock down and replace the older Terminal 1 and Terminal 2. This is when we get into the modern look of YYZ. The new Terminal 1 was meant to replace what was Terminal 2 and Terminal 1, and it was actually gonna be built where the old Arrow Key 1 once stood. Now you can actually see how they built around it through these aerial images. To this day, if you're departing from Terminal 1, it's actually distinguishable where the old Terminal 1 once stood. The new T1 was always meant to take over part of where the old Terminal 2 once stood, as well as to absorb the traffic that once went there. By the time that all of these changes had been implemented in the early 2000s, and Terminal 2 was fully demolished, the names of Terminals 1 and 3 were already cemented meaning that it would be quite the extensive effort, both in terms of cost and effort, to rename Terminals 1 or 3. The new Terminal 1 is huge, with multiple parts, including a newly expanded regional area, which is close to where the original Terminal 2 once stood. One of the greatest features of Canada's busiest airport is US Customs Preclearance. It's actually one of very few sites in the world that offer this service, and it means that when you arrive into the United States, you're treated as a domestic traveler because you've already completed customs in Toronto. There's actually a couple of different ways to go through security. The first is to go to the Toronto Pearson website and register for YYZ Express. Then book a time slot to go through security and you don't have to wait in line. Another way, of course, is to have your Nexus card ready to go through enhanced security screening where you've already done a background check, meaning that everything is expedited. Speaking of which, there's actually a dedicated line for Nexus members, and that's not the easiest to find. Now, I've definitely found myself getting lost trying to get there. Had nobody actually told me, I'd never have found it. It's located between check-in areas 11 and 12 at the end of Terminal 1 if you walk all the way back. Then you'll find the trusted travelers area of the airport. This area is dedicated exclusively for Nexus and Global Entry members, and usually the security lines here are much shorter. On top of YYZ Express, torontopearson.com has a wealth of information, including the current security wait times that are updated in real time, as well as your flight status, which I highly recommend checking before you go to the airport. I hope you enjoy traveling through Toronto Pearson Airport as much as I do. In the meantime, check out some of my flight reviews and cruise ship reviews all around my channel, and I can't wait to travel with you again soon. Thanks so much for watching.